here is the driest lipstick I've ever tried. I'm not even kidding. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl City. And yes, I know I've been gone for quite a while. I kind of decided to take a break from doing YouTube videos when Ramadan started. Now that it's done, I am back to regular programming. When I was gone, ang daming bagong releases. Ang daming bagong makeup na nilabas. Na like Sunny's face, Caroline, Ever Belena. But out of all the new releases, pinaka-interested akong itry itong brand na to. Since it's a new one coming into the beauty industry or beauty game. And the brand that I'm most excited to try is by none other than Sarah G. Sarah Hieronimo herself, and she calls her brand Pop Studio. I went on Instagram and looked up her brand or her line, but the problem is the majority of things in her line wasn't really that exciting, at least for me. I love collecting eyeshadow palettes when I like the colors in there. But I think that the colors that she came out with were very dated and to be honest, boring. <laughs> well, first off, this video is not to drag her brand or anything like that. But as a 24-year-old, I wouldn't really wear those colors. So I feel like they're really boring. Most of them were like plums, grays, and weren't really a lot to play with. So I said no. The other products in the line were just kind of meh. So I didn't get them. Instead, I focused on her lipsticks. I bought a trio from her collection. So, ito yung parang sleeve niya, but when you take it off, you'll get a box inside. For me, para siyang PR package that you send to like influencers to try. And when you open it, Sarah G and the different shades of her lipsticks, very on brand yung packaging na to. Of course, you see Sarah Hieronimo, Pop Studio, her signature, and then at the back, Narrow parang cassette, and then hits one, three, and five. Those are the shades of the lipsticks inside this trio. If you purchase the trio, it will cost you 649 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. The single bullet is around 249 pesos. I'll link it down below and also show you the correct price and speed. I can't remember right now. There's a lot going in my mind. I've already done the swatch video of these products and I know that yung talaga ginaantay nyo. So without further ado, let's head to the swatches. Meron kang red, meron kang peachy, 
brownish nude, and then you got your kinky nude. But my issue is the numbering of her shades. For example, her red shade is called Hits Number no. 1. And then the lightest one in this set is called Hits Number no. 5. And I know it's just a minor inconvenience or parang minor detail lang siya. But if you are someone like doing a review on this stuff and you're doing the swatches, it's confusing kasi you're starting from the darkest shade. I would prefer na yung unang shades of collection would be the lightest one. As you swatch them, you go from lightest to darkest. For a regular consumer, you wouldn't really worry about that. That's just something that I noticed and something that confused me at first. Anyway, overall, I think the shades are nice in this video. I'll give her that. But then we move on to the formula. And that's where I had the most issues with. Upon receiving these lipsticks and opening them for the first time, I already saw some inconsistencies. For example, shades number one and number three seemed really matte when they came in. Then, I dry ko sila sa lips ko and hindi ako nagkamali kasi magkakaiba talaga sila ng pakiramdam sa lips. For example, shade number one, which is the red shade here, is the driest lipstick I've ever tried. I'm not even kidding. It has the most tugging. I would show you a clip of me trying to put it on. It was kind of painful to put it on kasi medyo may tugging. Or hindi medyo, meron talaga tugging dahil dry talaga siya. But she shade number 3 is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. It glides on smoothly. It doesn't feel like it's a matte lipstick. It's comfortable as I'm wearing it right now. Wala akong problema kay shade number 3. Natinry ko naman si shade number 5. Hindi kasing lala yung plugging kay shade number 1. But also not as smooth as shade number 3. So magkakaiba ng formula or magkakaiba ng feeling tong tatlong lipsticks na to. Inisip ko nung una baka dahil sa colors. Kasi si red, mas mahirap siguro i-formulate kaysa kay nude. But then, you have two nudes here that are also different than formula. So it's just confusing to me why they did that. So that's for the formula. Pigmentation wise, it's also inconsistent. You have to work with these products in order to really get them to the pigmentation that you like or to the opacity that you like. So I really had to build up shade number one for it to look as opaque as it is the so swatch video. By building up, I mean about 10 or more than 10 swipes before I get it to the opacity that you saw on the swatch video. Ganon karaming beses mo siyang kailangan i-layer bago lumabas yung true color niya. But once na na-build up mo naman siya, ang ganda na shade niya. I really like how it looked nung nakuha ko na yung opacity na gusto ko. Yung red talaga, like baba boom red. It's such a nice color. So if you really wanna work with this product, it can work. But the problem is, if you have this much lipstick and every time na gagamitin mo siya, kailangan mo ng sampo or more than 10 times na swipe para lang makuha yung opacity na gusto mo. Definitely would run out of it quickly. 2 to 3 layers of hits number 3 and I'm good. I personally really like the shade. And thank God, ito yung pinaka ni work formula wise kasi ito yung gustong gusto ko rin dito sa collection na to. Shade number 5 naman is also not as pigmented as I would hope it to be. You just have to build it up or swatch it more than shade number 3 but not as much as shade number 1 which is too much 10 swipes before you get the full opacity. It's crazy. For the price, I would say price is okay. Nasa 200 plus pesos. Okay naman siya. But kung ako itatanungin, for the quality that I got from this set, siguro mga nasa like 175 pesos or 199 would be a better price point. If you're willing to shell out 249 pesos, if you love Sarah Geronimo, there's nothing wrong about that. What I'm trying to say is that you have other options na mas bababa pa or you saw quality in my mind yung 199 pesos or 175 pesos would be a better price point for this woman. Sa amoy pala guys hindi ko nabanggit kanina wala naman siyang anything obnoxious sa kanya. Parang regular lang yung scent niya. Although if you really dig in or parang inamoy mo talaga siya ng matagal, makakaamoy ka ng hint ng plastic. So yun lang naman. But 
as you put it on, hindi naman siya naglilinger or wala ka namang maamoy. Like right now, wala akong nararamdaman or wala akong naamoy na anything but dito. So, okay yon. I also want to note na wala akong nakita na sign if they are cruelty free. Wala dito sa tube and wala din dito sa pinaka-packaging. So, I don't think na cruelty free sila but correct me if I'm wrong dun sa comment section and I will also update the comment section if I happen to find one note from them that they are cruelty free. In conclusion, if you would ask me if you need this lipsticks in your life, I would say no. These are shades that have been done before. If you already have the shades, I think you just stick to what you have right now. They're nothing life-changing. But if you are a Sarah G fan and you really want to support her, I don't see anything wrong naman trying this out. I think they have potential, especially shade number 3. I would have to say this is my favorite and if I would recommend or if you would ask me for recommendation from their lipstick line, then definitely shade number 3 would be my pick. I think we have reached the end of this video. Those are all my thoughts. If you guys like this video or found this helpful, please make sure to give it a like or consider subscribing to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And if you can click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos ko, follow me on Instagram at mycity underscore. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye!